in today's episode, we finally get to fusion reactors. So I hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> So I started recording the episode and then realized that my mic was muted. So welcome to the middle of the video. Basically, I was just going over that we I rebuilt this fission reactor, have it set to 146 millibuckets. With this setup, when this is running, it makes me just over 5 million RF attack. Go back to here and go to our power gen one. I did set up a thing to basically keep this half full at all times. If I put a longer redstone signal, this will run longer like the fission reactor and the steam turbine will run longer. But for now, this is more than fine. This is keeping our base totally powered. 500 or 5 million RF a tick is quite good. So, but yeah, what we're doing today is making polonium because I do want to make the fusion reactor and a new industrial turbine. To do that, I got some stuff to set up. So you have to run polonium, water, and fluorite dust through a pressurized reaction chamber and that gets you the polonium pellets and then yada 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 i did make the fusion reactor stuffs uh, off camera just so that we can auto craft all of this stuff really easily what i'll probably do too is set up just another level of this as well as a brand new industrial steam turbine there's some math that has to be involved so i'll build it see how much steam i want outputted and then kind of do that from there but we do also have to set up DT fuel. I don't think it's called DT. I think it's DT fuel. There we go. Which there's setups for deuterium, tritium, all that kind of stuff. So we'll we'll see. Except they put lithium through this, which lithium should be pretty easy to make now that we have max lithium dust. So we'll, we'll see how we how far we get today. The main thing is getting these uh, polonium pellets. So to do that, I'm going to need these upgrades for both machines. So let's do that real quick. All that there. Let's actually grab a flux point as well. There's that. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Hopefully remember to cut that out. <laughs> but we'll send this to both be powered. Let's grab some more upgrades real quick. I'm so glad I got all this auto crafting stuff set up as well as uh, I can't believe we're, we're getting pretty close to the end, like end of the mod pack, which is funny because I've AFK'd so much. Most other videos and like series I've seen of people like Andrada or Direwolf doing these mod packs, they're at like 80 episodes. <laughs> I'm at like 20, what is this, tw episode 24? It's something. Let's grab a exporter real quick. You, grab a bunch of cable. I only have 17, that's fine. So from here, we're going to grab as well a crafting upgrade. Or no, we don't even need one. We just need a stack upgrade. And then we can run this. Oh, all sides are gonna be covered if I do this. Okay. I guess not a big deal if all the sides are covered, but. Oh, that. No way I broke that, really? I can't believe I broke that. Well, give me a minute. I'm gonna run back to my, uh... I've got it on me, that's why. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. All right, give me a minute here. This is super loud and annoying. Cool, so I'm back. I just let myself die uh, twice because I, <laughs> the first time I drowned, I spawned here and immediately got the thing again. But I made sure that I had that suit on this time. I set my spawn back at home and we're here now. And these guys are going to die like idiots. So let's grab our cable and make sure not to break anything. I guess it doesn't really matter this time. Now it's all been nuked a bunch. And I need more cable. I, you know, could have guessed that, but here we are. Make a stack of cable. Luckily, it should be pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. I don't really need more than 24. There we go. So if we come over here and say I want fluorite in this, please. No, it's, there we go. Let's put you in there. That should, we'll say input. Excellent. We'll eject items downwards. This makes us 
nuclear waste, spent nuclear waste. So I do have to put a drum or something. Um, let's see, drum? This holds a metric crap ton. Can I put this? I don't remember. Is it a fluid? No, it's not. It is a gas, right? Okay. Let's see. Chemical. This has basic chemical tank. Let's then grab tears. I'll need elite. So go gases output. Am I not going to be able to input this? Really? That seems about to put it into nuclear drums. Probably. Probably. Okay. Well, what are they called? Tanks? No. What are these things? Barrel. Right, let's just make like 10. That's universal. I want pressurized. Thank you. Okay, so let me make sure this gets spent nuclear waste. Cool. Now, oh, I see, because I did this. Like a genius. So gas, we're going to input. And we're going to input. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's a nice way to... Oh, the Geiger counter sound is awful. I mean, I could just turn pollution off, but... What fun is that? So, we can then grab drawer. Do I have a one-by-one one drawer without anything in it? I feel allowed to. No, I should, because I have them able to be auto-crafted. There we go. Side config. Items checked. Thank you. Lock that. So with this being filled, does this still run? No. Damn it. There's got to be a better way to do these uh, stupid pipes, right? What I'll do for now then is one of these, I guess. We'll grab some pressurized pipe. Actually, these need to go down a block. Did I not connect to that? Why? Can you only input the top and bottom? Stuff it, game. I don't care. Clearly, I don't. I've polluted this poor area enough as is. Okay, there we go. So now I can come over here. Break my beautiful floor. I wish there was like cables for mechanism. I don't think we'll need more than this as is, to be honest. I feel like polonium, I guess we will because polonium, no liquid, uh, the, the gas polonium is used in the supercritical phase shifter. Perfect. So that's set up. We can set up the fusion stuff now. So let me go double check all of the items I need and I'll come back once they are crafted and we're ready to build. Cool, so off camera, I just built two max thermal evaporation units. This is the exact same we have at our lithium setup, but it's just making lithium into this ender tank because for the fusion reactor, we need tritium and deuterium. Deuterium is super easy, literally just heavy water. An electric separator, we get oxygen and deuterium. Tritium is a little bit harder. We got to run lithium through a solar neutron activator to get tritium. So we're just going to ender tank it to over here. And I think this will set up our fuel stuff. So let's get on that. Let's get our solar U start. That should go pretty quickly. As well, what I want, I need water. We got a water bucket. Actually, I can use a water sigil because I have blood magic now. So let's do this. Grab some more factory blocks real quick. Perfect, so with that, I believe I can just put pumps here now. If we do this, we'll grab our pumps, which we should have three of. And how you get heavy water, by the way, 
is you put these filters into pumps and that will uh that will get you heavy water so i should be able to dump i have to break them i forgot these are going to charge a little bit so really okay well <laughs> we're learning together here folks let's just grab a tank real quick i don't want to craft one uh common black hole sure such as are getting heavy water and the heavy water process is super slow so I'm going to make some speed upgrades for these bad boys. There we go. Uh, can these take speed upgrades? I think so, right? Yeah, speed and energy. Sweet. So, speed. Let's grab 30. And energy. Let's... Am I blind? Yes. 30. That's actually quite quick cool so i need to get these power too so we can do that on this side we will grab our where is it universal cable one two three uh these are all done why did i make 30 they don't hold 10 they hold eight why aren't you guys stopping me when i do stupid things like this come on all right so speed 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 energy 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 let's grab a point we can smack that right there cool so these should just be making me heavy water quite easily yeah much better all right so we'll then pipe this one two three i think i can just set these to output right yeah so we're gonna output that into what again i think it was a electrolytic separator if i'm not mistaken yeah, so let's craft one of those. And hey, we have extra upgrades for this machine. It's like I planned it. Cool, so we'll just throw this right to the top. Sweet. So let's grab upgrades. I need two more of each. Grab you. Grab you. Perfect, and you know what I could do? Nah, I'm just going to put a point directly on it. Alright, we can just do it on this side. Cool. So, we want to store the deuterium. Is it liquid or gas? I actually don't know. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a gas. So let's grab pressurized pipe. No, can I not put the front? Let's see. So that's dark blue. I want to output this side. I can do that. That's fine. There we go. So that's deuterium setup. That's simple. You know what? Give me these bad boys. Quickly, please. For the love of God. Thank you. Bonk. There we go. So I'll dump the excess oxygen. I'm not worried about saving it. And this will make us deuterium. So, uh, you know what we should probably do to move this, actually? Um, quantum entangle porters. Let's make two of these. I need three. Which is fine. I need to go sleep. Let's see. I'm trying to get this episode done in stages. So, let's see how that goes. Because I'd like to get, the first bit was 10 minutes, I'd like to get this part done in 10 minutes, and then actually setting up the fusion reactor as another 10 minutes to make 30 minutes for the episode, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. So while it's making its stuff, let's work on our, that's deuterium done. So we need to run, okay, actually those are done now too, sweet. So let's do this here, we'll say side input. Yeah, so, you know, let's clear everything real quick first. Just to be on the safe side. Cool. Gases. If I could do this, input on the right side. No? Oh, because I haven't set this up yet. All right, set that. We'll set that. So that should input this now. Sweet. So this will keep going to this internal buffer is filled. And then this pipe is filled, and then this is filled. 
And this is completely free, other than energy, which we're only using... We're using next to nothing. 4,000 RF a tick, we're making like 10,000 times that, it's fine. Perfect. So that's that done. Now, solar... This boy. Let's get this here. Perfect, so... I don't remember... Let's see... We have to input... Output from the front, we can input from any side. Cool, so, you... Mechanical... Pipe? Feel bad to? Hold on a sec. Uh, lithium... Right, we have to do... Rotary condensator, that's the one. That's the one Papa wants. Rotary... Thank you. Grab our upgrades real quick. Ten. I keep saying ten. It's eight, just so we're clear. <laughs> cool. So we'll put this here. We'll say let's again clear all this. We'll so for fluids, we'll say input on the right. Can I put the inner tank here and it'll just take from it? I don't think so. I should know this by now. So that'll pull into the machine. Right? That fills up a lot. How much does this tank from this? Oh, it's gonna take from this pipe. How's our water doing? Cool, we're doing fine actually. I'm surprised how well that's uh, handling. So then we grab a another flux point. We'll say, just put it on the back for now, that's okay. And toggle operation, sweet. Bam, bam, bam. So that makes us lithium. We then want to run our lithium into the solar neutron activator. If we grab a, where is it? Pressurized pipe, right? Yeah, so we'll say this, go here, gases, output. This makes us tritium. So let's say, let's export our tritium into a quantum, one of these bad boys. We'll say... Is it just tritium, like I'm thinking it is, right? I'm not going crazy. Wait, oh, is this making flowing tritium? No, it's just making regular tritium, so... Tritium set. Uh, again, turn everything off for a second. Go back to gases, input. And this should set tritium, right? Let's set to input out the side. Output out that way. No? Why? That should output, right? There we go. Didn't like that for some reason. Cool. So, with this all set up, I believe I can set up the fusion reactor now. Sweet, so for this episode, we're just going to... We're just going to make the air-cooled version of this. But next episode, we'll water-cool it and build the turbine and everything. Because I'm running out of time pretty quick. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll see. But that stuff's most likely going to be next episode. So reactor glass, and then we're going to want... No, hey, fuck off. This... This, one of these numbers, right, no, bad. So I think we can do this. I guess this way, if I'm not going, if I'm not mistaken, because that will have to be the block. Yeah, there we go. See, I, I know how to do things. All right, y'all, I know how to do things. I sound like an old man in denial, and it's probably because I am an old man in denial. So we'll do this, and then we'll do this, and then do one of these, and perfect. So this is where the, oh, I'm missing a block. Let's make sure it's there. You. So the controller has to go very top. That's fine. So that's technically working. 
So you can see this will make a lot of heat, our fuel. Basically how much power we make is gonna change on how much fuel we actually put into this thing. But uh, yeah, so I think I technically want three ports, don't I? Cause I want one for, yeah, I'll need to make one more. So let's see, port. Hopefully this craft doesn't screw up. It screwed up last time, so we'll see. Uh, but let's do one of the things on this side, one of the things on this side. This is where the matrix has to go. And then we can put the power on the back. Sweet. So that's working. Let's grab ourselves a plug from my backpack. So let's grab two quantum boys. So this one's deuterium and this one is tritium then. Grab this universal, I want these. So let's see, we're going to side config, gases, output the top. There we go. Okay, and then this one, we are going to uh, gases, output. There, so this has all of the necessary fuel. So we basically need an injection rate minimum of two. If it's under two, it'll just not work, but that's fine. So let's grab, let's see, I need a laser and I need a laser amplifier, I believe. Because to be honest, I haven't actually set one of these up before, so I'm kind of just winging it here. <laughs> Let's see, are any of those done? They're both done, nice. So I believe I want the amplifier, like... Does this... hold on. Doesn't move or anything. I think I can just take the laser and point it into that, right? Like, I think that's... I think that's what we do. See, I don't want it facing that way, though. That's just charging the thing already? It shouldn't be. I guess it could, actually. But that's okay. So put this here. There we go. That's better. Let's grab a lever to turn this off. And you know what? Actually, let's make... Let's make two more, or er, three more lasers. Fuck it. So we will, okay, fine. So that should stop that from getting any sort of power. And then we can, let's see. Oh God. Okay, so that breaks things, fun fact. So I guess I just need the one actually, whatever, that's fine. That doesn't stop it? Why? Do we need it next to the laser? Well, let's put a... Uh, grab a flux point real quick. I want this to turn off. Hold on. I put redstone to it? Like this? Nope. Like this? So I'm pretty sure this has to get a shit ton of, uh... I do this backwards? I might be doing this backwards, actually. Okay, so does it go... What the fuck did the... What? Hello? Okay, well. Uh, the amplifier is just missing now, I guess? Okay, so let's try this again, shall we? It's not what I meant to do at all. So, amplifier. Laser. Oh god. 
Okay, so that was a mistake, and I think that broke all those blocks. I also built it one off to the side. Two off to the side, sorry. Okay, so laser. Laser amplifier. There we go, that's doing much better. Okay. So can I put the flux point on the back of this then? I absolutely can. But it doesn't look like it's doing anything. No delay. Oh, this full power. Uh, okay. Hmm. All right, give me a quick sec. I'm gonna try and figure this out. All right, so this is the setup I came up with. Uh, not that it's anything fancy, but if I just put one of these bad boys on. Oh yes, it is wonderful. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, you are going to need this hull ROM filled with DT fuel. Really easy to make. Uh, it's just gold and charc, or gold and coal, next to this. And then you just click on a tank with uh, 10, pardon me, millibuckets of uh, DT fuel. And that's that. So I believe this can get taken down now. I think you need 5 million to kickstart this bad boy. So let's see, we have, we have this. Heat's not really important right now. Stats, I don't think I, did I not set the injection rate? There we go, edit rate. So is that two, I'm gonna put it to four. I think we can do four, I'm hoping we can do four with how much uh, DT fuel, like D, like, Ethereum and uh, tritium we're making. So I think, I think we're ready to start this, one sec. All right, so this episode is going to be a little bit longer, but I fucked that up. So if I just do this, this should absolutely blast this full of power. Once it gets to a certain amount, it should kick on. We have this, we have, why is plasma not building up? Let's just set this to two. How much power does this fucking thing need? Let's keep blasting it through the uh, matrix, I guess. This shouldn't be going down. As this much power is blasting into it. There we go. I just didn't have enough power going through this. So we got it started. And this thing should be making okay amount of power. Since it's not water cooled, it's not going to be that much power, to be honest. Like, what's this? Yeah, just shy of 400,000 RF, which is fine. I have no problem with that. Uh, let's just make sure we're not running out of fuel. I don't think we would be. I think we should still be gaining, right? 84, 85, 86, 70, 71. Cool, so let's just double check. So air cooled, passive gen is 400,000 RF, which is fine. That's like, it's like a 10th of what we're making down there. But once this bad boy gets water cooled and we can run all of this steam through a turbine, it's going to be pretty redonkulous. Let's see if I set this to three. Can I not set this to three? Four? Can you not do odd numbers? Okay, you can't do odd numbers. Good to know. And this is making us now 450,000. Sweet. Next episode, we're going to water cool this. I'll build a giant turbine for this thing to make. Just an absolute ridiculous amount. I was looking on Reddit, and people are making these things make like 500,000... Sorry, 500 million RF a tick, which is pretty ridiculous. But uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like. I know I don't really ask for that. But I should probably start asking for it because I got to take this more professionally. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all take care and I will catch you in the later episode. Later.